Today we got Charleston White and YSL Woody. Apparently they beefing. They beefing. And this is the last thing I seen coming because y'all know Charleston White took Woody under his wing. He's showing him to do 20v1s, uh, interviews, all that. I want to see what's happening. I love y'all. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let's get it. Let's go. My your video. Uh, how you many been, girls is it That boy been popped. I ain't got a hole in me. So if you can hit up, go get some smoke. Who is he talking about? I like how I said Woody always stand on business, but he do be talking crazy. Mm -hmm. Back at them. You and where, where, where was I on my way to? The hospital, right? Yeah, you yeah. was on your hmm. Think I'm naked if you want. Mm. Who take it? I went taking the sand. Yeah, but the dude is shot. He's just saying, yo, listen, I, I, I defend myself, but really, I want to just do better for my life. I want to move on. Charleston White, he's made uh, an empire of basically being the guy who, you know, he went to jail really young. And, you know. I honestly respect both of them. I respect both of them a tremendous amount. Only because they, you know what I'm saying, they messed up in their early life, you know what I'm saying. Me in the crash out, me in the crash jumping, but now they're trying to better their life. I didn't know Charleston White. I went to jail for years over a body. That, that's crazy, but yeah, I respect both of them. So I ain't, operated I in, ar in and around the streets, and he's made the point to show the hypocrisy of the street, but also show that the street dudes are really dudes who usually pray on the weak. They have flawed mentality, flawed morals. Um, they claim they don't like snitches, but they end up snitching. And he uses that almost as a shield and also you know he uses it in a character type of way the reason i thought they weren't gonna last as a duo to be honest is that i don't think woody's playing the character i think woody is a liar in the sense of how he lied on the ysl stand and how he's trying to like you know conceal some of the stuff he's done mm. but i genuinely think that woody who probably was doing shootings for young thug for like 500 bucks when he's getting ten, fifteen thousand dollars for a twenty v one, yeah, he feels fortunate. He feels yeah. Basically, their whole thing is Charleston White. He's trying to go bigger. He want Woody to do a documentary. He want Woody to stop doing twenty v ones. He want Woody to like you know embrace him as being a content creator. Woody just trying to get the bread. He just listen. I got rich off the wire. So try. I'm trying to get these twenty twenty thousand dollars off each. 20 v one so Woody just collect the money at this point. Charleston, he's trying to do the brains or behind it. And I respect that from Charleston because sooner or later these 20 v ones they're gonna start getting a little to no views. So Charleston doing this is gonna help. If Woody listen to Charleston, I think it'll help him a lot for sure. Because they it's fortunate the that line. you know he got out of a situation that he was probably supposed to do a long time in jail for. I mean, as as crazy as it sounds, yeah, he did tell him thug. But I do believe he feels sorry that Thug's yeah. in that situation. Even I though I do know. think he has a better you than me attitude. I don't think he's like bragging about it. I don't think he's like, yeah, nigga, I did it and what? And I think that's the the, the uh, thing that separates these two. Regardless, um, apparently they were supposed to do um, an interview with Say Cheese. Mm. And um, Both of them apparently it one. didn't happen. And from what I was told, let me see. From what I was told, they fell out. What is it? It said Woody went live and was talking about a whole bunch of stuff. YSL Woody. Give me one second. Yeah, he went live on his page. Charleston White. Where is it? Is in the last day or maybe last two days? Sorry. Where is it? Actually, you know what? Let me just play Charleston White side first. So it, it, that's on Ch Say Cheese. Here we go. I don't want to do nothing with that. Then shot up the motherfucking neighborhood. I won't, I work with the thing that, I don't like about Charleston though. He was he will insult you over things he glorified that, and that's the thing. That's why I don't like. 
He'll tell you when he'll talk about your worst moments just because he's mad at you. And that's the thing, Charleston White, like, that's why he keep ruining relationships, I think. That's what I think. They walk in redemption. All my n kill somebody, but they walk in redemption. What? He say? Walk in redemption. Shout up the motherfucking neighborhood. I want I work with those that walk in redemption. All my n kill somebody, but they walk in redemption. All his niggas kill somebody and they walk in redemption. I'm not gonna lie, all y'all supposed to be in jail then. Charles and White, I know for sure. He got a body, he been uh I don't think he vocal about it. So that's what I respect. I respect I respect niggas that really do shit, but don't be vocal about it. Don't be bragging about it. And that's why I can't agree with Charles and White. I can agree with him. But also you gotta look at it. Woody is just a straight nigga just trying to get some money. So you gotta look at it that way too. He probably don't wanna be helped, you know? So until I so once I saw the nigga was trying to redeem himself, yeah, I f with him. Oh, he go to church. Okay, yeah, I f with him. But now that kept trying to do interview with me, and now nah, I ain't doing nothing with that nigga. My, so once he done the danger project, then but you couldn't have done the danger project without using my name. So the trying his manager trying to play like she know something. She a girl, man. I don't know what to do. He's so confused and misguided. But one thing I know, he ain't no lawyer. He turned on Thug now. He'll turn on me too. <laughs> that that is true though. He did turn on Thug, but I, I can't respect him. He probably is a liar. He probably is like a sneaky nigga. Like just based off his actions. But he's like that. That's the He's like that. Turned on Thug. People in his ear. So it's easy to get in his ear and do the nigga like a puppet. I don't f with that cause harm to they people. Wait, who who's in his ear? His team, the that I used to that used to work for me, that was telling my wife about my girlfriend. The b was going to go tell my wife about my my girlfriend. Was all the now nah, as an assistant? She's a manager. She's a manager or assistant. If, as an assist, either or. If you're telling my wife that I got another girl and you're my manager or assistant. You're fired. What the fuck? Quick in her fast in a hurry. What the fuck? My wife been and my wife been that's how the got fired. Being and me and my wife and my girlfriend been that's how that got fired. <laughs> I can't say though, Charles and my bad for bothering and shit, but Charles and White definitely more funny than Woody. But get the fuck out. Go, go. Bro, I hate when I dog that. But Charleston White is definitely more funny than Woody. Mm, I give him that. Charleston probably have to plan for real. The Woody just gotta follow along. I don't know Woody I don't know if Woody don't wanna be like a little homie to Charleston, like a little nigga, or even just following Charleston steps. But I think Woody should follow Charleston. Like he he probably talking shit to you right now, but I think his head is on some main like he his head, his head is on the future. He's trying to help him for it. Being in me, being in my motherfucking personal business. Chelsea, you need to pick between your wife and your girlfriend. You need to stay out of it. You ain't even got no business speaking on. So that's why that's who it is real. Because I'm trying to show them how to get real money. I'm trying to show them when you come here. So why they you ain't got over that though? Man, what exactly going on? I feel like it's something deeper. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like it's something deeper. I give her a percentage of your Say Cheese TV interview, my... I set it up for you, for you, and I ain't getting nothing off of it. I guess Woody responded. That's real. I'm... Whoa, come on. It's just sad, though, bro. You know what I'm saying? You claim that you you this type of person, but look, look at all the stuff you doing, bro. Come on, man. Like, seriously, bro. Like, yeah, you thought he was going to come out there and be you. I moved around your whole town. No security, no weapons, no nothing. Only faith in God. I ain't think nothing nobody talk about on no internet and in real life. If somebody want to bring home to me, then so let it be. But other than that, man, I'm not living my life in fear. No man. Straight up at all, bro. 
Like for real, you chasing clout. You you only got with See, I think Woody's just a hood nigga. I think Woody's just a hood nigga trying to get the most of his bag, you know what I'm saying? Trying to run it up any way he can. You can see he's not he don't really care. He he's saying Charleston for clout. But if you if he know the real content, he you know he a real content creator, he can know Charleston really want the best for him. But he probably mad about what he's been saying. Like, you know, what he said he mad about Charleston calling him the killer, Charleston the C A Cheese interview, so it's a lot. It's a lot. Honestly, I don't think these niggas should work together anyway. Like I think they better apart. It's like Charleston White, who else in this content? Like F B J Butter, F F B Y something Butter, uh J Main, shit like that. I think all niggas should stay apart really. Especially if you in this lane you a ex hood nigga now contributor. So yeah. I love y'all though. Comment how y'all feel about the situation. We out.